Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at setting, forcing, and online editing of our CP1H Omron PLC. And what you'll notice is that I've called up here on my screen. This is our program from the last uh, two posts and we have our start stop jog and what we're, like, what we're going to do is use some setting and forcing in order to uh, communicate uh, or test out our logic in this controller and as you can see on my CP1H I have some communication going on my peripheral port here and my power and run lighter on and now none of my inputs and none of my outputs here are highlighted so and you can also see that since I'm communicating with my peripheral device here and you can see my screen here is watching and monitoring the logic and you see my peripheral light here it is flashing and telling me that I have communication so I'm using my USB the built-in uh, communication board, as we discussed last time so looking at my logic what I need to do is uh, the first thing we need to do is we can tell here that our PLC is currently in run mode. So run mode is actually uh, a mode for use for normal system operation and the operating status of the CPU unit can be monitored but you cannot force anything or reset anything. Also present values and set values can't be modified using programming, programming devices. So what we need to do is change that mode and we have another mode which is monitor mode and monitor mode is listed right up here on these icons so when we look at this one here we have program mode we have monitor mode and we have run mode so we'll change it to monitor mode and it will give me a warning here and we say yes and what you'll notice is over here now I have my monitor mode and really nothing has changed in the PLC at all but in monitor mode um, your logic is running so your I.O. are going to be updated and the operating status of the CPU unit can be monitored but you can also force things on and off or reset them and the set values and present values of the timers and counters etc can be modified and the present value of word data can be modified and this is just mode usually used for system adjustments in your uh, logic and of course program mode is when your CPU is completely stopped so your logic will be executed it will not, will not be executed and you can then uh, user program can be created or modified memory can be cleared and programs can be checked and depending on the PLC type there are other options as well that you can do in program mode so now that we're in monitor mode what we can do is actually force IO on and off so here here's my stop and normally that would be wired up normally closed into your uh, input however I don't have that so let's force that on and what we do is we basically put our, our cursor over that contact right click it and you'll come up with an, uh, a menu down we'll see force and we'll see on and what you'll notice is that now that bit is now energized you can see it as, as uh, green and you see this little lock beside the icon beside the contact itself that means that it is forced on and in order to actually make this motor condition come on we'll need to hit the start so instead of forcing it when forcing actually means that we're going to um, regardless of what the PLC scan is saying we're going to keep that unit on that's why we see that little lock symbol the other option we can do is set and set will turn it on for one scan um, during that condition and then the IO will take over again so in this case here when I hit my start what we'll do is we'll turn on for one scan again I right click I go down to set and I can turn on what you'll notice is that it goes too quickly for me to actually see that um, on my screen however it did turn it on and you can see here my logic my rung is complete Here's my motor output contact on here and you can also see it right down here and the light is on for my first output. In order to uh, then, then what we can do 
is we can just check the entire integrity of this circuit. We can uh, go to my jog and we'll force it on. And when we do that, really nothing happens except for now my few other rungs are now true. And what I can do now is let's um, actually cancel that force. So we'll go force, count, cancel. And when I do, what should happen is the motor should actually turn off. And which it does. So we verified that. It seems to be working fine. Now, we've been forcing and setting inputs here. We can also force actually the outputs itself. So here's my output. I can right click on it go to force and we can turn it on and you can see it can be forced directly I can also then cancel that force there we go. and you notice that because I've turned that on it latched on it's going to remain on until I actually unlatch it now because the program logic is still keeping it on so what I'll do now is just, well, we'll leave that on there. And you'll also see that we have a couple things. There's a watch or a toggle watch window up here on the icons. We'll turn that on. And this is the area which we can actually monitor bits in the PLC. So if we take this first circuit here, and or this rung, and we just right left click it and drag it over to our watch, you'll notice that it brings up all the little boolean expressions here and I can see the exact value of each one. So here when I hit jog again, up here, we'll hit force, on, okay you see here that it comes up the value is one forced, and now I can uh, right click, force, cancel, and it turns itself off. It's an easy way of coming up and monitoring all the different bits itself. So let's turn that toggle, uh, the toggle watch off. Now what we'll do is do some online editing. And online editing, we have a few icons up here. They're located right here. And this one's my begin. Now if you don't want to do it this way, we could also um, go program, online editing, begin. And when we do, what you'll notice is that this turns white now. So this is the line in, or the rung in which we're trying to edit. And what we'll do is we'll actually add a new rung. So what we'll do is insert rung below. And what we'll do is add some logic. And what we'll do is take the same motor output. So our contact here and go 100 and it's our motor and you'll notice here now that we have a red symbol that red just indicates that the, the rung is not complete yet and what we'll do is we'll hit the control and arrow over to make our line and then what we'll do is put output and our output coil will now be um, We'll say 100.01, and that is the next output uh, next to our motor. We'll say OK, and the comment will just say uh, new. So here's our completed circuit. You'll notice we don't have any red anymore, so we're good to go. And here again, here's my symbols. I can cancel that online edit. I can send that online edit or we can go to the actual edit rung. So if I had several rungs in there, I can go back to this one. So in my case here, what we're going to do is, actually what we should do is, is first of all, force this on. And we can't do that with online editing. So what we'll do is we'll accept all these rungs and um, we will say send online changes. And now it's going to say, do you wish to also set all the symbols? We'll say yes. And it's transferring our, our program over. And it comes up with a message saying that everything's done, download successful. So we know that we've got everything in there. And you'll also notice here that it comes up and tells us how much memory we have. 
So we'll just close that as well. You can also go up here and there's my output window. We can just close it, toggle it on and off. And now when I turn on or force my output, you'll notice that uh, we have um, both outputs now coming on. So um, very simple and very straightforward to do online editing, forcing and setting of your um, inputs and outputs. And you'll see that as you get more familiar with it, this will come second nature. And when you're looking at programming, programming and looking at trying to troubleshoot these, uh, these logic circuits. Now, if you like this video and like to see some more, there are three ways you can help us out. First of all, give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information like you to have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video, or you can go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do that, you'll be giving notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free eBooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.